In this video, traders, we're going to look at account charges, specifically dividend adjustments. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so this video is sponsored by our channel sponsor, which is Core Spreads. Go and check them out. A link is in the description below. Spread betting CFDs. Now, what I want to talk about is account charges, dividend adjustments, and also specifically, I'm going to put a link in a moment in a screenshot to something that Core Spreads offer, which is to predict the potential impact a dividend will have on an index, which is something that's quite useful. We'll talk about that in a moment. However, let's look at dividend adjustments. If you're spread betting, if you're trading CFDs, how it all works. So shares and index, let's look at shares first. So a share dividend ultimately is when a company says, hey, I'm going to reward shareholders and split the profits with shareholders. So they decide at a board meeting to issue a dividend. So each shareholder gets a specific amount of money, gets a number of pence per share is normally what they'll quote it in. So you know, if the share is 500p, uh, you might say the dividend is worth 3p or something like that. So that ultimately means that the more shares you've got, obviously the more dividends you're gonna receive. So the uh, it's also dependent on the success of the company. Some companies obviously don't pay dividends because they're reinvesting the profits. Some companies, and generally speaking, this is broad, but generally speaking, Newer companies that want to grow will keep reinvesting the profits and the shareholders would expect that because they want to see capital growth on the market cap. They want to see the shareholder, the share value increase. Companies that have been trading a while, generating profits, a bit steady, a bit more of a, a kind of a standard industry that sits there and chugs, they're going to be making profits and shareholders will expect to receive a dividend. And obviously there's different strategies for different investment uh, uh, kind of objectives as well. Some people want that regular income from a dividend, other people want to see growth and they'll mix and match their portfolio to suit. How, okay, anyway, so profits get paid out to shareholders. What does it mean for us from a spread betting or CFD perspective? So when a share goes X dividend, it will drop the amount of the dividend on the day. So let's say we had that example. It's a 500 peak share trading on the uh, UK LSE and it goes X dividend and the dividend was 3P for example. So in fact, let's use it 10P so it's nice and simple. So it's 10P dividend. What happened next day is the market will open at 490. So close at 500, open at 490. Now this isn't a kind of automatic adjustment if you like, and this is nothing to do with sentiment on the, on the stock or on the share. It is because the price has gone X dividend, that now has to readjust because if you think about what's happening, so when the share opens, the dividend is paid out or it goes X dividend and you're going to receive that dividend. If you're receiving a 10p dividend on that share, then ultimately everyone, if the share price wasn't adjusted on their X dividend date, you could literally just hold it, get the dividend and close it and get a free 10p. And if you're spread betting 10 points, 100 pound a point, you'd be very happy. But it doesn't work like that. So when a share goes X dividend, the share price is going to drop the amount of the dividend on the day. Now, this isn't always the case, and we'll touch on this in a moment, but let's just see what operationally how that works. So share price drops usually by the dividend amount. I'm gonna put usually here because we'll talk about that in a second. So let's see what actually happens if you have a spread bet position or a CFD position on. So let's imagine we're long XYZ stock and it goes X dividend. The share price drops. Now the share price drops, that's a bit unfair, right? You've lost your 10p. However, you're gonna be credited with the dividend if you're long on the X dividend date. So you'll get an account adjustment. It'll be a, it won't be a charge, it will be an adjustment and you'll be credited the dividend amount to your account. So the share price will drop, but you'll be credited the dividend amount Theoretically, you're about even. We'll look at in a second how things can change slightly. Vice versa, if you're short, then you're benefiting from that share price, price drop at X dividend date, right? Drops 10p, you can make 10 points, great. However, because it's the X dividend, you're gonna to have to pay the dividend because you're short, so that means that that will be debited from your account. So the dividend will come out of your account and the adjustment will occur that way. So if you're long, adjustment comes in. If you're short, the adjustment means the money goes out, but you're getting a compensation for share price movement anyway to counteract that. However, before we touch on the index dividend, just want to say that this isn't a, it doesn't always happen this way and often people as a trading strategy may well look to trade around these dividends, specifically perhaps in a bull market, they might say, well, yes, the share price might drop by 10 points, but because we're in a bull market, people may well buy the share back, we might be end up back flat on the day and I might be able to benefit from the dividend. Now, 
you are still speculating on the direction of that share effectively, but you're using the dividend mix to potentially give you a little bit more of an edge and maybe you know, consider that share price is gonna rise based on the dividend adjustment. Like I say, you're still speculating. It's not like an arb trade or anything like that. It's still a speculation on the direction of the share price, but that's what some people might do. But there's no free lunch, so to speak. Let's look at the index dividend. So if you think about when a share goes X dividend, it's gonna drop that amount. If it has a weighting and index, which all shares will do, some are weighted more than others, and we talked about different ways that index are weighted, market cap weighted, price weighted, etc. that will affect the index, right? So if it's got a heavy weighting on the index and it goes ex-dividend, then that index is going to be affected. So how is that gonna work out? If you are long, let's say an index within the core spreads trading platform, rolling cash bet, daily rolling bet, uh, the same rules are going to apply. So in other words, if the effect on the index is going to be, let's say five points on the index you're trading, then the same thing applies. If you're long, then you're gonna get that drop in the index value on the next day, but you're gonna receive that into your account. If you're short, you're gonna get the drop that you'll profit from, but it'll be debited from your account. Now, core spreads have got a very handy little tool. I'll put a screenshot up of it here, which predicts the dividends adjustments for the indices, uh, some of the indices at certain times, and you can have a look. Um, there's kind of terms and conditions there you've got to look to just to see that obviously they're not going to guarantee the accuracy, but it helps guide you as to how much you can expect the adjustments to be. And so that A, you're not surprised when all of a sudden something happens to your account and get some sort of adjustment. You're not, you weren't sure what's happened. You can see, okay, I can see why that was. And B, maybe you can be prepared for that with some kind of strategy, whether you want to build a strategy around it or not. Anyway, guys, check out Core Spreads, channel sponsors, sponsoring the video. They are in, a link for them is in the description below. Go and see if they are right for you. Otherwise, take care, keep the risk managed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.